Hi, thank you for tuning in to Paleo Green Bird. This is Green Bird. It's Sunday here in Maine. It's supposed to be no hunting, but you can hear a gunshot all around. That's all right. Today we're going to be talking about the figure four trap. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the, the best traps you can have. It's very simple. Works um, off of very common physics. You've got a rock putting pressure on your, bit, your uh, fulcrum point here, which is right here. Pushes the stick up. That makes your bait stick want to pull back if you have it notched properly. Put the uh, name of the game is to stop that from happening. So you notch it right, right here, right where it connects in the the, the actual four. Um, very basic. As we were kids, the Lincoln Logs. That's the notch you want to make. Pulls back, stops it. That's the bait stick. Typical figure four will be a little bit more uh, four shaped. I know this is kind of tipped backwards. I don't really consider that a problem because that puts your bait stick closer to the ground. It means less time before the rock has to come down on it. it. does mean that the bait stick is further back, so you want to make sure you have a heavy enough rock where your animal's not going to slide out the back. Um, if you were to have a more elongated four, it would allow your animal to be trapped a little bit more in the middle of the stone than the way I have it, but that's okay. The, the weight's back there. That works just fine. Um, so. <clears throat> the premise is that an animal, you've got this stick bait, baited, animal comes along, touches that, hey, I'm hungry, boom, you've got lunch. Uh, so let's see if we can reset this. Sometimes that can be a little tricky. It did take me a little bit of time before this video to set that properly. So let's see if I can do a little bit better of a job now that I've had a little bit of a warm-up. I want that stone coming down on the on the fulcrum point. That's what's going to pull this stick up, which is going to be connected to my bait stick. And that's super important. Okay, let's, uh, let's be better. Yeah, okay, I'm do it this way. It's going to pull on my bait stick. Let's try the other way. Sometimes I think I'm going to mix it up a little bit. The best fit. All right, that's a decent fit. And there we go. I'll set again. So this is a nice video on the figure four trap. I hope this helps. Um, the best way to figure this trap out, in my opinion, is just to, to whittle it out. I mean, you know what the basic physics are behind it. The rock pulls this top branch up, which is which you're using as your leverage because it's notched to pull this stick forward so that it will lock into the to the main stick here. That's your bait stick. Once that's disturbed, it falls. Very, very basic. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, please post. Um, this is my first video, so if you have any feedback for me or any advice, be happy to hear about it. Um, thank you for watching.